Wasn't there a, a story? Wasn't there a part that was edited out or something that Winston was supposed to have then then didn't happen? Yeah, in the very beginning, and I've been writing. We, we have different um, recollections <laughs> <laughs> because we. And Ivan was saying, I'm saying, Ivan, I'm sorry, man, but uh, I don't remember it like that. I'm not saying you're wrong. We're both old men. So maybe one of our memories is a little short here, but maybe it's mine. I don't know. But um, in the beginning, there was a backstory. Winston came in in the very beginning, you know, when they first leave the university. Remember, they get kicked out of the university. Mm -hmm. And he comes in and, um, and he's an ex-Air Force colonel who was a demolitions expert. And he kind of ran the Ghostbusters. And so... Um, and then just before we start shooting, they wrote him out. I mean, basically, instead of coming out on page eight, he came in on page 68. And, uh, and all the backstory where I come in and we talk about who I am and I'm auditioning and I'm explaining what I do. He just says, um, you know, uh, there's a steady paycheck and I believe anything you say. And, um, and I, I find that's just a funny line, but you don't get to know who this guy is. You know, he's just, you know, it's, it's a funny bit, but unfortunately it doesn't give you a lot to play. So you, so as an actor, you have to bring all of that with you and hopefully people will see it. Through the you lines. know, your mailman yeah. comes up, you don't want to, you don't know everything about him, but you can see in him who he is. Yes. And so I, yeah, I think the studio probably, uh, worked over time to try and make sure that the Ghostbusters were always thought of as three guys. And I think it's the fans, and I, I really appreciate the fans who really embrace the character. Um, and at one point, Winston was uh, one of the best-selling dolls they had, and they were surprised. But I think that's, um, that's because the fans really love the character. 